Welcome to uh, our demo today of version control, Git and GitHub and Uniface 10, tightly integrated and working together, courtesy of March Hare and the UD6 driver. First thing we're just going to have a look here is the message frame. You see we're using version 2.05.12.04, so we're kind of previewing a few features that are coming up in UD6 3.1, but they're available today. You can download them from our website, and we're using the latest Uniface 10.2.2 release. That's the latest that's available. Um, and I've got some tabs open, but I just wanted to show this is a customer repository here that we've imported to Uniface 10, and uh, just showing that the performance is pretty good here for browsing components and browsing entities, etc. It's a large repository. It's got uh, thousands of components and about a thousand entities, I think. So we wanted to give it a good test. And you can see, uh, you know, the paint to blow is all working. Now what UD6 does is it stores your Uniface source code in text files natively. So UD6 is a database, it appears to be a database to Uniface, but at the back end there is text files. So you can just use your usual git commands. Now, first of all, uh, I'm going to just do a pull here, just to make sure the repository is up to date, and to demonstrate that I'm using the git uh, credential manager here from Microsoft. Uh, that's important because where we don't have anything in UD6 to prompt for your username and password, so we definitely want you using a credential manager there. Uh, save so you having to type that information in all the time. Now I'm using GitHub and I've created an issue here. Uh, nothing terribly fancy with a few changes and a bit of dialogue happening there between two different accounts. Now uh, I'm logged in on this PC as the sales account, but I'm logged into GitHub as myself, Arthur Barrett. So I'm just going to send a message here to the sales, uh, my alternate identity just and reopen the bug and we'll see that the UD6 chessboard icon automatically comes up with the notification there so that it's a bit hard to see but if this was two different people and two different screens here as the developer the notification comes up straight away that uh, somebody is asking you to do something there and so you can quickly make those changes right within the IDE. I'm just going to, uh, yeah, I'm not really going to get into any coding here. I'm just putting in some comments. I'm going to put in a few in a few different spots here. Um, now, I just want to, um, I'm just doing some cutting and pasting here just to. Uh, Form up, up here a little message, which I'm going to use also as a check-in comment, and I'll demonstrate how I use that in a moment. So let's go across to the entity and make a change there as well. We've got other videos on the website that go into all of the details about having your Uniface source code in text files and uh, how that allows you to use build management tools like Bamboo, Jenkins, that sort of thing, uh, alternate editors, all sorts of possibilities. But today I just really want to focus in on Uniface 10 and Git tightly integrated and working together. Now down the bottom here is our chessboard icon. So we click the red one and then click changed files and up comes our little panel here. Um, the results are empty at the moment because we haven't asked it to do anything. I'm going to select those two and say yep that's what I want my change to be and I can send that change directly to Git either from a right click menu or the pull down menu. I'm going to paste in that comment. I've already selected there my branch and my repository now I've fired off the stage and commit, and we can see the results there. 
the exact text of what's been requested and what's come back. Now I'm going to deselect everything and hit push because push operates on the entire repository, not on individual components. And there we go, the push is now complete. It takes a little while because it's got to contact the server at that point. It's not necessarily that fast when you've actually got to go off the machine. And here's the, uh, the Git Enterprise Server. I'll refresh that now because it was me that made that check-in comment. Um, I got no notification, but the information is in the issue and the issue has been automatically closed. So my alternate identity, Arthur Barrett, would have received that notification. We can also have a look at the commit there and exactly what was in it. But also without using those web tools at all, we've got things like the history function available to us right here on the right click menu. Now at the moment that panel only shows recent changes in this session. Um, we're interested in what other things you would like in there. I think logically maybe uh, changes from your previous session or from other um, uh, windows that you have open on the same PC, uh, but maybe also changes that have come from elsewhere. So uh, please let us know what you would like, what you think of our demo, and uh, if uh, you would like to try that out with your own Uniface installation, please uh, uh, grab the trial from our website. Thanks for your time.